and those details have yet to be released. And happening, coming up, we'll tell you uh, more states reopening, what this means for sports looking to return. So the Cobb will tell you what this will be the new norm for sports fans. Hi. What's on your post-it note there, Linz? Oh, my post-it note? Well, this is a new uh, so laptop. Pretty. It is my <laughs> password, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> Just going to take that off. <laughs> Well, the pandemic has many of us thinking twice about what we touch in public. Coke and Amazon teaming up to remove the soda machine from that list. You can go. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Coke's new freestyle machine will include a QR code. It's choreography, Carrie. A big section of the new mile-long bridge opened this morning. The northbound lanes are now open on the Tri-State Tollway. Roz Varon is live, and Roz, you've been keeping us up to date for almost a year on this project. <laughs> I have, and as soon as I get ready to go on the air, the doorbell <laughs> rings and the dogs bark. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what else can go wrong? But it haven't really hit our parking lot yet, so it really ain't affecting me yet. But once it do hit that, they probably gonna tell us to evaporate and then that's what gets on my nerves all the time. We gotta keep evaporating. Yeah. yeah. And I know we're right by Bowling Creek and you said that this happens a lot, that you all have flooding here? Yes. We, it, I mean, when I first moved here, I think the first night I moved here, it was like this, so we had to like evaporate. All right, everyone, coming up. <laughs> Hi! <That's true. laughs> Here I am. I made it. You made it. You sure did. Nobody noticed a thing. <laughs> Nobody noticed a thing. 625, everyone. <laughs> coming Magic. Up on... <laughs> coming up on 16 Morning News Now. <laughs> Flavor is so good, Kelly. It's delicious. It really is. So you'd set this out on your table and people would just yeah. kind of munch before yeah. they had dinner. That's wonderful. I'm going to eye my cream and crab soup and put skim milk in it tomorrow. Uh, you had better not, <laughs> TJ. Everybody, I give it a 10. I give it a 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Kelly, it's really, 10. really good. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> it's time to take a look at the world of sports, y'all. <laughs> And that's it for sports tonight, but WCPO 9 news continues right after this. What? Really? Poop? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> Was it really that bad? Yeah. yeah, okay. I'll try it again. You're going to have trouble driving home from work, whether you're in the thick of it, or you've got some of that heavy slushy slow on the ground, it just makes those roads so much slippier. Slip, slip, slip. <laughs> slip Well, you slip. went on a slippery slope there to begin with. <laughs> I, I don't know what you said before that, I don't know. but it was close. I was like, say that again. I can't. Okay. We'll just pass that one to you. <laughs> oh, no, don't hand it to me now. Just goes to show you best friends come in all shapes and sizes. Duke the calf and Rex the chicken met at a farm animal sanctuary in Arizona and they've been inseparable ever since. The unlikely pair enjoys their time outside cuddling together. It's cute. It reminds me of that joke. My nephew's favorite joke. What do you get when you cross a brown chicken and brown cow? Brown chicken, brown cow. At 7 o'clock this evening, both will expire at 10 o'clock in the morning. What's up, Casey? And we are looking at what will likely be another round of some light snow flurry activity. Hey, what's up, Casey? I think I'm going to have to switch to navigating for Casey through the studio so he doesn't walk in front of the camera. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> for the past few months now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were back on. I went down and you had video on the mic fail, but there we go. Thank you, Leland. Live TV, gotta love it. <laughs> this is gonna make the blooper real for sure. Another tough issue he wants lawmakers to address is liability. Can <laughs> Excuse me. Can, uh, and come here, I need you to not be in my shot. Thank you. Can you sit? Good boy. Thank you, I love you. Okay, are you in my shot still? <laughs> oh, goodness. Good morning everyone, I'm Allie Meyer. 
and he is Robert Miller, and I am Lauren Daniels in for Kent Ogle this morning. It's Monday. It's hard to get when back Kent in the sleep. We need all the help we can get. We bring everyone in. Wait, Team Kent here him. on the news desk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stay Good busy morning, today. Good morning, Emily and Damien. No slackers allowed here. Uh -huh. I love that. You know what? Just get a nice little jog in, get your heart racing, helps warm you up. It's a cold start. Now, let's have a quick look at the weather. And uh, in fact, I promised you the weather. Um, and I uh, think I've got the weather somewhere. Um, I have got. No, we don't have the weather. I'll bring you the weather in uh, just a moment. And. Uh, uh, Sorry about that. I thought we had the weather, but uh, we didn't. We'll get it for you in just a moment. Let's get back to the top story now. The rising warmer air in through the inland valleys and the mountains and the deserts. All of that rising... You know what? Hold on. Sorry. Hey, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Nope, nope. Come here. Dolly, come here right now. Sorry. Sorry. That is... Um, sorry. <laughs> that would never have happened. All my animals are, sorry, my uh, dog was going after one of the chickens, but all is well now. Uh, I can't believe that just happened. Appa apologies. Um, they're all out of sorts because I'm home and they don't know what to do with themselves. Uh, all is well, so. <laughs> if you want more videos of live television going wide, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.